Hi everyone, welcome back to Future Mind. Today, we're diving into digital minimalism. Our phones are buzzing, our inboxes are overflowing, and it feels like we're always tethered to some kind of screen. Digital minimalism is about taking back control of our digital lives so that technology serves us, not the other way around. Let's explore five essential rules that can help you find more peace, focus, and intention in our increasingly digital world. The first step to simplifying your digital life is understanding what you're actually dealing with. Our digital lives are often cluttered with apps, subscriptions and devices that we don't even remember having. Grab a notebook or open up a notes app and start listing every single app you have on your phone. This might seem tedious, but it's a crucial step. Go through your computer and do the same thing. List every program, every tool and every piece of software you have installed. Don't forget about your tablet, your smartwatch, or any other device that connects you to the digital world. Each of these devices can contribute to digital clutter. Now look at your subscriptions. This is where many of us lose track of our digital spending. This includes everything from streaming services like Netflix and Spotify to news apps, online courses, or even monthly subscription boxes. Write them all down. Make sure to include any annual subscriptions or memberships you might have forgotten about. These can add up quickly. Once you have a comprehensive list, it's time to start asking some tough questions. This is where the real work begins. Go through each item on your list and ask yourself, does this add value to my life? Is it something I truly need or use? Do I use this regularly? Or is it something that just sits there, taking up space and resources? Would I miss this if it were gone? Be honest with yourself. Sometimes we hold on to things out of habit rather than necessity. If something isn't adding value to your life, it's time to let it go. This can be a liberating experience. This might mean deleting apps you haven't opened in months or even years. It's amazing how much digital clutter we accumulate. Unsubscribing from emails that no longer resonate with you can also make a big difference. Your inbox should be a place of value, not stress, or even canceling a streaming service you rarely use. These small changes can lead to significant improvements in your digital life. By clearing out the digital clutter, you're creating space for the things that truly matter. This can lead to a more focused and intentional digital experience. Taking the time to audit your digital life gives you a chance to hit the reset button and decide what you want your digital world to look like. It's a fresh start. It's about taking back control and designing a digital experience that aligns with your values and priorities. Make your digital world work for you, not against you. So, Take a deep breath, grab that notebook, and let's start decluttering. Your simplified digital life awaits. Now that you've taken stock of your digital life and cleared out some clutter, you might feel a sense of relief and newfound clarity. It's time to set some boundaries to maintain this clarity and ensure your digital habits support your well-being. Think of these boundaries as guidelines for how you want to interact with technology helping you to stay focused and present in your daily life. One of the most impactful boundaries you can set is around when and where you check your devices. This can significantly influence your productivity and mental health. Instead of letting technology dictate your attention, decide when it works best for you to be online. This proactive approach can help you regain control over your time. Maybe you designate specific times throughout the day to check your email and social media. This can prevent constant interruptions and allow you to focus on more important tasks. Or perhaps you create a rule that you won't look at your phone during mealtimes or when you're spending quality time with loved ones. This can enhance your relationships and make your interactions more meaningful. The key is to be intentional about when you allow technology into your day and when you choose to disconnect. This intentionality can lead to a more balanced and fulfilling life. Another helpful boundary to set is around notifications. These alerts are designed to grab our attention, often pulling us away from what truly matters. Notifications can be incredibly distracting, leading to a fragmented attention span and increased stress levels. Take some time to go through your notification settings and be selective about what you allow through. This can help you stay focused and reduce unnecessary interruptions. 
turn off notifications for non-essential apps and consider keeping your phone on silent or do not disturb mode when you need to focus. Remember, you're in control of your digital environment. You get to decide what deserves your attention, not your devices. This empowerment can lead to a more intentional and satisfying use of technology. Setting boundaries isn't about depriving yourself of technology, it's about creating space for what matters most. This balance can enhance your overall quality of life. So, take some time to think about what boundaries would be most helpful for you. Reflect on your daily routines and identify areas where boundaries could make a positive impact. The goal is to find a balance that allows you to enjoy the benefits of technology without letting it consume your life. By setting thoughtful boundaries, you can create a healthier, more intentional relationship with your digital world. Chapter 3. Prioritise real-life interactions. In today's digital age, it's easier than ever to stay connected with people all over the world. But while these digital connections are valuable, it's important to remember that they can't fully replace the richness and depth of face-to-face -face interactions. Our third rule is all about shifting our focus to real-life interactions. It's about making a conscious effort to connect with people in person and to savour those moments of genuine human connection. Think about the people in your life who bring you joy, who make you laugh and who you genuinely enjoy spending time with. Make a plan to reach out to them and schedule some quality time together. It doesn't have to be anything elaborate. It could be as simple as grabbing coffee, going for a walk or having dinner together. The important thing is to create opportunities for meaningful conversations and shared experiences. When you're with these people, make a conscious effort to be present. Put your phone away, silence the notifications and give them your undivided attention. You'll find that these real-life interactions are far more rewarding and fulfilling than any amount of time spent scrolling through social media. Prioritising real-life interactions isn't about abandoning your digital connections altogether. It's about finding a balance that allows you to experience the best of both worlds. Chapter 4. Curate your digital content. Think of your digital consumption like a diet. Just as you carefully choose what you eat to maintain a healthy body, you should also be mindful of what you consume digitally to maintain a healthy mind. Just like you wouldn't eat junk food all day, every day, you don't want to fill your mind with digital junk. It's important to balance your digital intake with content that is beneficial and enriching. Start by taking a close look at the accounts you follow on social media, the websites you visit, and the content you consume online. This self-assessment is the first step towards a healthier digital diet. Ask yourself, is this information adding value to my life? Is it contributing positively to my mental and emotional well-being? Is it inspiring me, educating me, or entertaining me in a positive way? These are the types of content that should make up the bulk of your digital diet. If the answer is no, it might be time to hit the unfollow or unsubscribe button. Don't be afraid to remove content that doesn't serve you well. Instead of passively consuming whatever pops up on your feed, be intentional about seeking out content that aligns with your values, interests and goals. This proactive approach can transform your digital experience. Look for creators, writers and thought leaders who inspire you, challenge you and make you think differently. These voices can provide fresh perspectives and stimulate your mind. Explore new topics, dive deep into subjects you're passionate about and fill your digital world with content that nourishes your mind and soul. This can lead to personal growth and a more fulfilling digital experience. Curating your digital content isn't just about eliminating the negative, it's also about actively seeking out the positive. This dual approach ensures a balanced and enriching digital diet. Look for content that makes you feel good, that teaches you something new, or that inspires you to take action. These are the hallmarks of high quality digital content. Fill your digital world with beauty, creativity, and inspiration. These elements can uplift your spirit and enhance your overall well-being. By curating your digital diet, you can ensure that you're consuming content that nourishes your mind, inspires your creativity, and aligns with your values. This mindful approach can lead to a more satisfying and meaningful digital experience. Remember, you're in control of your digital experience. You have the power to shape it in a way that benefits you. Choose to make it a positive and enriching one. 
Your digital world should be a reflection of the best parts of yourself and your aspirations. Chapter 5. Embrace digital detoxes. In a world that's constantly plugged in, it's easy to forget what it feels like to be truly disconnected. Our phones have become extensions of ourselves, and we've become accustomed to being reachable 24-7. But the truth is, our minds and bodies need time to unplug and recharge. Just like we need to step away from work to avoid burnout, we need to step away from technology to avoid digital overload. That's where digital detoxes come in. A digital detox is a period of time where you intentionally disconnect from digital devices and engage in activities that nourish your mind, body and soul. This could mean taking a few hours each day to read a book, go for a walk or spend time with loved ones without the distraction of technology. Or it could mean taking a whole weekend or even longer to completely unplug and reconnect with yourself and the world around you. Digital detoxes aren't about punishing yourself or depriving yourself of technology. They're about giving yourself the gift of presence, stillness and rejuvenation. The important thing is to make digital detoxes a regular part of your routine. Ultro, thanks for watching. So there you have it. Five rules for digital minimalism that can help you lead a more intentional and fulfilling life. Remember, it's not about eliminating technology altogether, but rather about using it in a way that serves you and your values. If you found these tips helpful, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more content like this. We'd love to hear your thoughts on digital minimalism and how you're incorporating these rules into your own life. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.